After Ed lost to Roy in episode 13, he wanted to have a rematch. After Roy agreed to it, everyone came to attend it, wanting to know what would unfold. In this battle, Ed was determined to defeat Roy and was so humiliated by his previous defeat that the first thing he did in battle was use his alchemy to turn Roy's pants into a miniskirt. Switch. Roy was also humiliated by seeing that he was suddenly wearing a miniskirt. So after that, he decided to use his flame, using his flame techniques to try to defeat Ed. Switch. Keep going. Oh. Uh, after, but Ed was proved to, proven to be resourceful, so he switchly used his alchemy to create a wall to protect himself. So then, but Roy quickly uh, went around the wall to try to do it once more. Switch. Okay. After that, Ed and Roy had another battle. Like, very, very, very... Story! Story! Die! Okay, your turn. So they continued the battle, and things got interesting when Ed decided to use his alchemy powers to make a portal a la the portal game. Then try to stick Roy in the other end and leave him over there, basically making him a winner. Unfortunately, when he made the portal, Roy grabbed on as he fell over, and both of them went to some other portal dimension in an anime known as Switch. Your turn. Into an anime known as known as Death Note. <laughs> <laughs> they went into. They suddenly found themselves in the modern day age of, of of present day of present day Japan. So when they went there, they found Light Yagami at his at his college, but he was somehow holding a strange looking notebook in his hand, and he was writing into it. Switch. Keep going. Oh, he. They went over to go see Light. They both, they, they each said hello, hi, I'm Roy, hi, I'm Ed, hi, I'm Light. So they said, what are you doing? So Light asked, who are you guys? So we're Roy and we're Ed. And switch. We switch. Yeah. It's his turn. Yeah, you died. Oh, okay. yeah, you died. <laughs> however, however, during the conversation between the two, Ed tried to, in, um, he tried, he tried to take advantage of him. It basically did a blind attack. At this point, the two started to fight, and eventually, in about 10 minutes, they destroyed my college. <laughs> it was a burn to obliteration, including life itself. <laughs> there was, it was a sad day in Japan's history. Switch. That being said, they, they, want, they decided to walk, to walk some more to see if they could, they decided to see if they could do some more battles with each other. So they went. Down, so they went further down to Japan, and to the to Mega Metropolis in Akibara. So they uh, they did a they did a story. story story die. Okay, your turn. So they're walking towards the train station, and all of a sudden they get bomb rushed by these people wearing uh, people wearing school uniforms, right? Obviously they were looking for something. They just didn't know what they're looking for. Either experts, time travelers, they, and all of a sudden, how do you get the media turns around? Do you want to come with us on our journey to find experts, time travelers? And Roy goes. I can make fire. <laughs> and the two then proceeded to go out and adventure. Switch. And look for another participant to participate in this game. If someone else would like to participate, come up. Anyone? Okay. Yeah, you too. Okay. Okay, you go first. Okay, so so Haruhi and Roy. and Roy basically are going off on these adventures, but they're always getting into arguments with each other because they are two of the most arrogant little pusses you've ever seen in your life. 
I mean, Harry wants to go one way, Ed wants to go the other, but of course, Roy wants to go the other, but there is one thing that Roy likes, that Harry is in a tiny mini skirt. Switch. <laughs> no, keep going. Keep going? Okay, sorry. But, of course, Harry, seeing how perverted Roy is in that regard, basically slaps him silly. Switch. Are they still um, still amazed that he can um, create fire just by snapping his fingers? Asked him to show him or show her how he did it. So um, he snapped his. Uh, Story. 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 Die. Okay. Uh, still back in Hockey Bar, Ed's still sitting there looking at the other SOS con members. And before the first one that Ed looks at is Yuki. And Ed goes, you know, hey, how you doing? And Yuki goes, mm. Says, what's your name? She goes, mm. And so it's like, what the hell is your problem, you little pee? And it's like, and she's like, mm. So she goes to the next person, um, Mikuru, but she's too, she's too shy and scared and it's afraid that if she gets if she gets touched somewhere, that little area she has like to be touched, where Hadaki touches her often. Switch. Now basically at that point, Mick Rue will call it short, and at that point the predictable short rank will ensue. So then he finds Kion. Now of course kion has been pretty beaten up the last few weeks because Harhee's been basically beating the living tar out of him him as usually happens. So basically, I call the switch. I heard a switch. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, hey, what's up with you, man? And Kim says nothing. It's like, hey, does that girl beat you up? And he's like, yeah. It's like, I feel the same. Like, too, when Ricky beats me up pretty often, and much <laughs> And so those two go off. They go to the cosplay cafe, get served by some maids. They chill out, drink some coffee, and then all of a sudden they go off to some bar. And it's like, are you old enough to drink? It's like, no. It's like, oh, let's just go drink anyway. So they pound it, shot their shot of sake and sapporo, and then they went home. They they passed down the street where they both got found by Hottie and Roy. Switch. It's a good way to end it. Well, the fir- well, basically at that point, Hardy realizes that Keon has made a fool out of himself, and... And um, Roy, realizing that the Full Metal Alchemist has made a fool out of himself, basically start beating up their respective partners, as it were. And it basically turns into a great big beatdown fest, because what happens at that point is we get right back to the same battle that started the mess between the Flame Alchemist and the Full Metal Alchemist, while Harhee is basically punting Keon off into the stratosphere <laughs> And everything continues in the cycle of life as it had been when we started this mess about ten minutes ago. <laughs> okay. Awesome.